Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you some daily face tapping to really help with blood flow and circulation to the skin. This is great, it's gentle and it really can help with fine lines and wrinkles and boost collagen. Now I am going to start with some clean skin and I'm using just a little bit of facial oil. You don't have to for face tapping but we are going to be doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage at the end just to release all the toxins so we really do need a little slip and glide so you're not compromising the skin. So I'm just first of all gently applying the facial oil onto the facial area and also the neck and when you're doing face tapping Whatever product you've placed on your skin is going to penetrate in even better. So first of all, let's start with our collarbone here. And we're just going to, with our fingers, just gently tap below the collarbone. Now we have plenty of lymph nodes here, so really getting everything going. And you can do these morning and evening, obviously depending how much time you have. And then just above the collarbone, again, a very light, delicate touch here. I'd like to start from the centre of the collarbone and then very gently and slowly work your way out towards the shoulder. And again. Now we're going to work on the neck, which can be very fine and delicate. So with our fingers very lightly tapping in an upwards motion towards the double chin, if there is one, and the jawline. Now, if you do have long nails, you can always use your knuckles. Just be mindful that you're not going to be going too deep and heavy handed. And again. Now, with the back of the fingers here, I'm just tapping under the chin. And then gliding. Along towards the ears. Again, we have plenty of lymph nodes here, so we're really getting everything moving and going. And then we're going to work a little acupressure point here. So I'm going to use my finger here and I'm just gently tapping the middle part of the chin. Now, if you like, you can also take a few deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And this really does also help with oxygen to the area of the face and also the neck. And then with both fingers, again, now gently working in an outwards motion towards the ears along the jawline. Not forgetting tapping the lips. So you get some blood flow to those lips, get them plumper. And then we've got another acupressure point here between the nose and the mouth and again with our finger just gently tapping and then lower part of the face again I like to work in an outwards and slightly upwards motion we want to be lifting up not dragging down then I'm just going to tap either side of the nostrils here and then under the cheekbone now when it comes to the eye area I'm going to use my ring finger because we have a lighter touch and you want to be very careful around this area because the skin around the eyes is very delicate, so we really don't want to drag and we don't want to overwork the eye. So first of all, I'm just going to tap between the eyes here. And then work my way slowly along. And then I'm going to tap not too high up onto the eye, but where the bone is. And then once we get to the part where the pupil is all the way down, this is another great acupressure point, so let's just do a little bit more tapping this area. This is great, particularly if you have any sinus issues or puffy eyes or any eye bags. To really get everything moving along, anything which is stagnant. And then again, work in an outwards motion. 
towards the temples. And holding on that placement where the pupils are. And then along again. And you may find when you're tapping that you're actually, because we're moving toxins and waste as well and getting everything going, you may want to feel like you want to swallow more. <laughs> You can feel things moving around. And then just under the eyebrows, again with the ring finger. Very, very light, delicate touch here. We'll do that three times. And then the third eye. Between the eyes and the eyebrows here. At this point, you may find yourself slightly more relaxed and sleepy. And then working in an upwards motion from the eyebrows towards the hairline. Again, waking up any anything which is slightly tired. And then just moving our way across. So once we've done that, we've done, really woken everything up now. So we're just going to do a little bit of lymphatic drainage and lymph so we can actually get really great, almost glowing skin, really moving those toxins and waste, which are a little bit stagnant within the lymph. So with the fingers here, I'm just gently gliding with my fingers in an upwards motion from the collarbone towards the ears along the neck. And again, feather light -like touch. The lymph is very close to the surface of the skin and then just gliding with our fingers from the nose all the way along lower part of the face. And you want to head towards the ear. Placing the thumb under the chin, just gliding under the cheek bones here and also the jawline. And then with the ring finger under the eyes, really to help with the puffiness. And then with our fingers, just gently glide from the middle of the forehead towards the temples. Also including the hairline. And then start to move our way down towards the ears. And then with the fingers, massage the side of the ears to the top of the ears to the bottom of the ear. And then we want to work our way along the occipital bone, so the bottom of the head, top of their neck, and then just very light massage. And when the fingers are touching, we just want to just gently glide down this big SEM muscle either side of the neck, down to the collarbone. And then with the fingers almost in a V shape here, one finger in front of the ear, one behind, we just want to just gently glide that down as well. And then glide down again the SEM muscle. And then from the chin all the way down where our collarbone is, just above where we've got those points, a few gentle presses. And this will release all the toxins and waste we've moved within our tapping and also with doing our lymphatic drainage massage into the body ready for elimination. Now, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe for more daily content and a thumbs up if you found the video useful and enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next one. Okay, bye.